Don't you just wish that you could set up your hearing aids as a truly hands-free setup for phone calls? Well, what if I were to tell you that you can? If you're an iPhone user, as of last year, Apple released an iOS update, allowing you to keep your phone in your pocket and speak to the person on the other end of the phone with the microphone on your hearing aids picking up your voice. I'm Matthew from Hearing Tracker, and my job is to keep you up to date with the latest news in the hearing technology world. And by the end of this video, your hearing aids will be doing all the work so that you can keep your phone in your pocket and have a completely hands-free phone call using your hearing aids. If you regularly tune into this channel, you'll know that I absolutely love Bluetooth hearing aids. All hearing aid manufacturers now allow for you to use your cell phone as a remote control to adjust your hearing aids. They allow for remote adjustments of your hearing aids, i.e. you can be sat at home and your audiologist can log on from their clinic and make adjustments to the settings. And then my favorite feature is Bluetooth streaming. This means that any sound that would normally come from your cell phone speaker now comes directly through your hearing aids themselves. So if you listen to the radio, music, podcasts, or even when you make a phone call, your hearing aids act as the speakers and the sound is produced directly into both of your ears just like a pair of wireless headphones. Now on one hand, they're actually better than wireless headphones because the sound reproduction also takes into account your hearing loss and your audiologist can adjust the sound to your preferences. But on the other hand, there's a downside. When I use my Apple AirPod Pros, I can keep my phone in my pocket and the microphone on my AirPod Pros picks up my voice. So the person on the other end of the call can hear me. But when this is done with hearing aids, the default setting is that you'll need to keep your phone held up to your mouth as the phone microphone is doing all of the work to pick up your voice. So why don't we fix that in three simple steps? For this process to work, your hearing aid should already be paired with your iPhone. I have a ton of videos covering this on the channel already, which I'll link in the description to today's video. If you've done this already, then the next step is to head over to the settings on your iPhone, then down to the control center. Look for a picture of an ear with hearing written next to it. Then press the green plus next to it, which should move it to the included controls panel at the top of your screen. Doing this will add the hearing shortcut to the control panel. If the ear is already in the top half of the screen, then you've already done step one. So now let's get you to the control panel. Place your finger in the top right hand corner of the screen next to the battery icon and swipe down on the phone. This should bring up a screen which looks similar to this. You'll notice now that you have an ear icon, which I'd like you to press. At the bottom of the hearing menu, you should see mic input. And when you press it, you can choose on or off. If you select on, this turns on the hearing aid microphones to pick up your voice on a call and you can keep your cell phone in your pocket. If you select off, this means you'll have to hold your cell phone to your ear as normal to make phone calls. So there you go. You can now take hands-free phone calls on your iPhone, but don't go anywhere just yet. This isn't the end of the journey, guys. With doing this, my patients all report that with these settings alone, whilst the audio will sound great for you, the people on the other end of the phone call will hear way too much of what's going on around you, making it hard for them to be able to hear what you're saying. And unless you follow my next piece of advice, you'll probably deactivate what we've just done. However, fear not, I'm here to save the day. Apple have just developed one of their features called voice isolation, which is designed to focus on your voice and clean up the sound before it's sent over to the person on the other end of the phone. And if I were you, I would check out this video for instructions on how to activate it next. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure that you subscribe for more helpful guys like this, and I'll see you in the next video.